It's the Kyle and Jackie O Show this morning here at Kiss FM. Peter Stefanovic. You know that name. Well, you know the Stefanovic part anyway. Oh, of course. We know Peter. You know Peter. that Peter is the one, the troublemaking brother of the Stefanovics. <laughs> Good and morning, And that's saying Peter. something when Carl's your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, mate. Good to see you too. It's been a little while it since has. I've been here. I've, yeah. I've gone a bit greyer and balder since I was You're last right. year. Do you know what, Peter? You and Carl sound so similar. Do you ever just say, oh, can you call and pretend to be me? No, we've done that before. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah, if, if he had someone that he didn't want to talk to. What a, especially what, what, family. What a shame you wow. couldn't use. Use that as a, uh, a way to get out of that Uber shit. Well, but well you, yeah, were, I guess so. you were talking to each other, so well, yeah, that's yeah, hard. That's hard. <laughs> uh, perhaps they wouldn't have known who was talking. I still, to this day, yeah. think it's terrible that they wiped out the entire news team on the Today Show because of you. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they did it just because of Peter. <laughs> well, you're probably right. Oh. You're not, you must have copped some shit. Your oh, yeah. brother went. Your wife went. Yeah. Every you went. Yeah. Fifteen Richard years of your Wilkins life. Yeah. Went. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. He, Timmy he, Gilbert, he Timmy, was past his Timmy time Gilbert. anyway. Yeah. Timmy Everyone Gilbert. went. No, well, it was awful. Someone um, likened it to the Red Wedding from Game Yes, of that's I what thought. it was like for TV. <laughs> Probably. You Pretty should have you it. should have walked through the Channel Nine car park and everyone lined up throwing feces at you while you walked out nude. <laughs> yeah, like and lettuce and tomatoes. Yelling out, shame, yeah. shame. <laughs> yeah. That would have been don't, fun. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> oh, Jackie's got the bell. I've got the bell. What's the bell? Shame. What's the bell mean? Oh, oh, oh you, they, they you're not, the a, bell. Oh, right. you're not yeah, a Game of Thrones fan. Shame. No, no, no. I do. I love Game of Thrones. No, hey, no. Don't you, worry. You, I felt all that shame. So no, no. But you should not. You should not have felt it. You should never have felt it. But here you are. You've landed on your feet. Yeah. Not so much for your wife or your brother, but you've landed on your feet over at Sky News. I watched you uh, last week doing the breakfast show. What's it called? The New Beginnings? First edition. First, first edition. edition. Mm. Yeah, you get your news first in the so morning, new, 5 to I 9 like a.m. That. Yeah. How yeah. are you finding does. the early starts? Well, that's an adjustment. Yeah, but as it? you know, what time do you guys get up in the morning? 4.30. 5. 4.30. So, yeah, okay. So I'm up at about 3.15. I've oh, managed how to push ridiculous. That what for? You're not a milkman. Well, you got to get up. you got to go through the papers. you yeah. got to get on top See, of we things. don't prepare. Yeah, we so don't do that. Sometimes no that's preparation. The best thing, isn't yeah. it? Yes. But, yeah. th- but it's hard for you to not prepare because you're the one telling everyone the news. Y- well, yeah, so that's you gotta, right. So you've got to know. Be across things. But I do most of my research the night before so, yeah. that, so that I can sort of push it as right. far as I can. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. And yeah. then how's the sex life with the wife now? Because if she's not getting up early and you're getting up early, are you living different ends of the day? Well, it's just it's basically that we, we, we've switched around. Right. So the alarm still goes off at the same time. It's right. just somebody else getting up. But wh- how does that interfere funny. with the romance? Well, we're still romantic. We're, and we're when, still... Were you, when were you last <laughs> romantic? Like the exact day? <laughs> we're always. We always. always are, yeah. Oh, I love that young love. Isn't it good? <laughs> How long you... have you guys been together for now? Uh, Real, really, together. not not just publicly, because there must have been a little bit of uh, something going on. I think it's about on. four years, four and a half four years. How did you get that? So how'd we've you been get married that? for two and a bit. How did you do the uh, swooning? The how did you well, how did you manoeuvre yourself there? Well, that, that just because she's quite a catch. She's a lovely yeah, she woman, yeah. Sylvia, yeah. A beautiful catch. No, I woman. Think, uh, I think that might you know when all is said and done, that might well that will be my greatest achievement. It will be is convincing her. Oh, to marry me. That's oh. nice. But how did you do the crack on in the first place? Was it so, because you can't just crack on in the workplace these days? It's well, there's sparks. You know, you know, you see sparks. And so then, you got the vibe. So, yeah, I got the vibe. You got then, the, she was yeah, given the vibe out. Yeah, and I had to go away. I had to go back to London for a little while. But we oh, stayed that's in right. Touch. You were one of those correspondents. So yeah, you're yeah, back. You're having sex, and then you'd go overseas. No, we can't. I'd come back, and you know, we'd um, you'd have we'd, you'd, you'd, you'd get together. <laughs> you'd get <laughs> together. Yeah, and so that was like, well, my time in London was coming. Did you to an promise? End, so. Did you make her promise that she would only be with you while you were overseas, or you one of those desperates, or did you allow her to do whatever? Yeah, just do whatever. Do whatever. You didn't care. No, no, no. But I knew, I knew that there was something there. Knew. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. Did you and have a was, chat, and, or did you just know in your mind? No, we just knew. You both knew, and you never yeah. chatted about it. No. Wow, no. isn't that beautiful, and you guys, Jackie? You got married on April Fool's Day, yes. didn't you? Yes, we did. What the hell? I'm, for? I'm assuming you knew it was April Fool's Day when you did the booking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's a unique date, so why yeah. not carry on with it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, you're a joker, you know, though. What, you're a jokester guy. It's I like an easier that. one to remember. You know, it some is. people can't exactly. remember what day they're. Yeah, they always <laughs> miss their anniversary. April one. You're never going to forget that. And one. they always keep saying that you two are going to have a baby, but I don't see her getting any baby shape. Well, about we're just we're we're we've we've had a few things on. Right. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. there's enough. been some distraction. Bit of stressful time. Yeah, but but we're both hard workers, and and so we wanted to have some time by ourselves anyway. Yeah. for a few years after we got married. Did Sylvia blame you for the uh, her not working at Channel Nine anymore? No, no, no. no. She still works there. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. She's, she's, she's on ACA. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. happy. She's oh. just, everyone's on their feet. Oh, if everyone's fine. Everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah all's well that ends Everyone's well. still got a job. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. Carl's got the best job out of all of it, well, don't you think? Right. He doesn't yeah. even have to do any work. Carl, as you know, he's going to be fine. He's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Carl doesn't care about anything. No, well, no, he does. I mean, he's he, he's, he's cares, relaxed he about ca- it. Yeah, he cares about his work and he's great at his work. As Sylvia's great about great, great with her work as well. They're Does both she great want, Is she gunning you know. for Tracy Grimshaw's job? No, because Tracy listens to this show. So no. just be very Tracy, careful what you say. Tracy has that show for as long as she wants to. Yeah, yeah, right. And then and then it's Sylvia's. Who knows? Who knows what? You, is that what you would business? like for your wife, or you you don't care about her career? No, she, no. I what she wants is is, is to be happy right now, and, and right. I think she is. You know, I know yeah. she is. Actually. Well, that's up to you to make her happy as, yeah. a, as mm, the husband. I hope I'm doing that. I think I do. I think you are. Why Why wouldn't you be happy with you? Well, You're I a get good to catch. Cook. I get to cook in the afternoons now too. What do you? What's your specialty? Off. Well, I, I do a range of of things. Like what? Spag bowl. Well, what last are we doing? night mac and a, cheese. I did what a six-hour soup last night. A six-hour yeah, soup. Yeah. Oh yeah, chicken soup. No soup is worth six hours. No, it is when you put it in the slow cooker. It does all the work oh, for you. The oh, slow cooker. okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So yeah. that's nice. What other dishes are you making? Uh, I do good pastas. Do you? I do a lot of good pastas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get my. Trying to get, trying to work out the meats at the moment. You Meat, know, yeah, yeah, you're so a burner. You burn them. I, sometimes I can. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I mean, I struggle with the meat cooking as well. Oh yeah. no, the meat cooking's very simple. Well, thank you no, very much. Sometimes From a woman, you yes. You, you but can't, sometimes you don't put it on the hot plate. Yeah, you got to get that hot plate yes. so hot yeah. that it's hot. you know you can practically see it smoking, yeah. and then you put it on, and then you turn yeah. it down. No, you, you keep it boiling. You got to let it cook itself. Yeah, you've got to like it. It doesn't need much on each side, and then oh no, you're one of those fancy no, pants. And then you've got to let it rest. You're right because it will no, still cook uh, a little bit. I, yeah. like, I don't like my meat cooked. I don't want to be eating. Like, some well done, but that's fine. Thing. You can still keep it on high. It's just you know, it depends on how long you're going to leave it for on each side. Don't when, you like a bit of red in the middle? No. Oh, you've got it. No, yeah. I don't like it well done. That's, no, yeah. it loses its yeah, taste. This is your taste versus my taste. But with the right way to do it is the medium right way. rare. Radio. I agree. <laughs> Gross. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. Now, you're, what's this show called? The uh, what's Lawyer it called? X. Lawyer X, yeah. the untold story. So, yeah, I tell mean, us what's about this that. Shit? You're not in here talking about your actual morning show. Yeah, no, no. no you're talking got, about Lawyer X, that, that, nah, that, see, that all, woman who dogged all the, yeah, the robbers. Right. See, it's all happening at the moment. Right, so, yeah. next week, Monday and Tuesday, it's over two parts. I so saw Lawyer the X. ad on Sky News. Yeah, Nicola, I saw this. Nicola Gobbo. Now she's, she's Gobbo, is that a name? Yeah. Oh, she's, how unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be changing that. No, 100%. I mean, she is the ultimate double agent. Now, she is someone who is representing the, 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 the most famous, most dangerous crooks in Melbourne's history. Yes. You know, people like Tony Mockbell and Carl Williams, Rob Karam, all these types. But she was also working for the cops. So How she was trading did she secrets between the two. Have the balls to do something well, like that. Right. I'd fear for my life that's on a daily basis. That's a great question. And, and she actually says that uh, at some point she wanted to throw herself in front of a moving tram because oh. she couldn't deal with the, tr- the pressure that she was. But how did the police getting. allow a lawyer? There's got to be some confidentiality there. How did the police take all that information? Is this what everyone's worried about that these criminals might, the ones that are alive, might get out of their sentence Absolutely. because of this? No, they have a fair argument because at the end of the day, they haven't got a fair trial. So you've yeah. got someone like Tony Mockbell who was put away for 30 years yeah. for drug importation, yeah, drug Yeah, just for dr- rolling some drugs around. 30 years seems a little, in, a little high, don't you think? But now there's a huge question on the evidence that he was put away on. So right. it's quite possible that he could walk. This will take a while, And though, was he having sex with Gobby as well? Yeah, well, the, he has a, he has suggested that there was some kind of relationship in the past. God, who would have thought the Gobby was Gobbo? Would, oh, Gobbo, Gobbo. Sorry, would be having but, sex but what, as well. How did it start that she was feeding the information? Did she want to do it, or was well, she that, somehow? No, there is there is a, a suggestion that she enjoyed being a puppet master, pulling all the strings. So oh, is that oh, right? It's almost like a power thing. Are you because, suggesting like an evil woman? Well, no, she just. She, I mean, she comes from a very famous legal family. Right. The Gobbo name is very big. Um, in Melbourne circles. Right. And the people that we've spoken to have told us that she enjoyed playing both sides. Is that right? And, yeah. It's amazing. And, and wouldn't the police be like, well, oh, we, uh, this is great, but we can't really use this because this is going to come unstuck well, at that, some point. That is why that it's, it's before a royal commission at the moment. Right. So it's, it's got tentacles everywhere. Oh, it's yeah. got problems Crazy, for the right? future of, of Victoria's legal system. That's for sure, and, and for herself too. I mean, she she has upset a lot of people, and a lot of people who don't like to be upset. Yes. Oh, I know. You, you brilliantly mafia. put that. And I like the way you phrase that. Is she getting protected? Yeah, she. Well, she is. 
we can't say where she is at the moment. Do you know also, where she she's is? Also, she's in like some sort of witness protection. Do you know we, where she is? We can't, we're not allowed to say that. Right, but, you don't uh, even, but, you but don't even want in, to say that you know in case they, someone grabs that's right. you. All I can say is she's in Australia. Right, but yeah. you know. So what if someone mm. grabs you and then bashes it out of you? Well, I don't think they is will. Are you terrified of that? I, 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 but I, what I'm, if they beat you with cigarettes to I'm, try and find out where, <laughs> where I, she was? But I'm being honest. I don't know exactly where she is. I just, right. I'm just told that she is within Australia. Oh, my mm. God. Do you know, if I was ever um, under interrogation like that, where oh, they did roll torture, in a heartbeat. Yeah, as soon as yeah. they lit a cigarette, I'd be like, oh, I'll tell you. Do, I'll tell you. I would do, <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. You two are dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make sure I never do anything bad with either of you two. <laughs> You'd roll in a heartbeat. It. You're like no, a submissive grandma dog. Yeah. She's straight on the back with her legs open. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Well, this is an amazing story, and, you, and you're you've spearheaded this whole story. Well, it's it's we've been helped by these two fantastic journalists in Melbourne, Anthony Dowsley and Pat Carline, who broke the story five years ago for the Herald Sun. Right. And so they have fought for years because they weren't allowed to name her. She was only known as Lawyer X. Right. But only recently was that lifted because it was in the public's right to know. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yesterday I had a big argument, or the other day, with Brooklyn. Uh, he's, uh, he masquerades as a journalist on our show, but isn't So one. he's our newsreader, obviously. Yeah. There's a difference between a newsreader and a journalist, wouldn't you agree? A oh, yeah. journalist yeah. is someone who's studied and uh, devotes their life to journalism. But a lot of but some but but, but a lot of here to get lot of sex newsreaders from gays become being journalists. Famous. Start be, start being journalists yeah. and then become That's newsreaders. Right. Yeah. Okay, Brooklyn, come in here. Where is he? Oh. Here he is. Okay, take Hello, a mate. seat. He's a real journalist here, you? Brooklyn. You know uh, Peter. Peter yes, Stefanovic. Of course. Yeah. I mean, hey, good. Don't get hard. I don't know. It. I just missed what <laughs> Kyle said. Don't worry. I'm talking to him about. The AB, I'm just about to bring up the ABC, the raids from oh, the Australian yeah. Federal Police. Jackie's favourite mm. subject on the yeah, show. Yeah, here we go. She yeah. hates me talking about it. I say fair enough. If the Federal Police want to go in there and sniff around and ask questions, well, why can't they? Well, I mean, if in terms of press freedom, I think it's a slippery slope in terms of cracking down on media. I, I, I say that because I've seen it. I've been to a lot of countries where, where press do not have freedom where the government controls yeah, but how everything much that freedom doing. are you allowed to get you guys want the, the full freedom freedom like a wind like a sheet blowing on a line freedom mm. you, yeah. you shouldn't be able well, to get that I mean, well, why, but, why are you better than me but why I, can't I, I have I, that well, freedom no I don't think I'm better than you at all oh, well that, I'm rephrased no. that, that's ridiculous me even suggesting that <laughs> but, um, but but I believe but Brooklyn thinks that the police shouldn't be allowed to raid the ABC but but I believe that there are some things that, that the public does have a right to know yeah. And if and if there are going to be spy agencies looking at things that ordinary Australians are doing, then I believe that we probably should know about that. Right. So you believe that you are above the law, you journalist? No. Well, I don't. Well, I don't believe that I'm above the law. I always, I always work within the law. But I mean, it's hard to, it, do you always work within the within the law, Brooklyn? Yeah. Never of done anything illegal. Yeah. yeah. Never. And I think what never. I think the question though never. is 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 <laughs> is where is the law? Which is no, which no, is what we no, are. Which, no, no, that's a good. That's a good yeah, question and, because and that's we, what they're trying to work out now. That line between the public's right to know and the government's right to yeah. be able to protect their. And you know, will like the AFP's gone in and raided the ABC. Mm. Will any ABC journalists be charged? And will they go to jail? Oh, and that'd if be not, fantastic! Wouldn't that be fantastic? I, I don't. Well, think no. That would. And I, if I not, like why are they happen. raiding it in the first place? Like, well, they would only go to jail if they committed a uh, committed a crime. Yeah. Well, we'll see because I don't think anyone's going to be going to jail. I don't know. I, I wouldn't have thought so either. No. So but who they're knows? just they're just trying to sort of yeah. scare journalists out of doing their job. Yeah. Oh, I right. think. Is that what you Is think? That what you think? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. Well, that's I fair. Didn't enough. hear any of this when John Ibrahim was getting raided from the feds. Did you hear any of this sort of? Ch- it's chat? a totally different scenario. I think. Why? We're talking about they, no, freedom no, of. No, 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 no. They free- were just sniffing around John's place to see what was what was up. Hey, what's up? Let me just pull a few walls out. Yeah. Well, mm. okay, fine. That's oh, not look, okay. Oh, look, here's either. a secret tunnel. No, it's not. It's a uh, pool, yeah, yeah, pool yeah, maintenance yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, but I mean, the two issues of what the police are searching for are very mm. different. Yeah, yeah. Was that a secret tunnel? Well, not really that. Thing. I knew it was there. <laughs> I've been down. I've been out that. Is tunnel. it like a slippery slide? It's sort of like a slippery slide. <laughs> and you go, you <laughs> slide down the tunnel. You land on a jet ski, and it shoots you off the <laughs> shoots you off the cliffs into the ocean, so you can escape. It's like international a bat- waters, like a Batmobile. Like, that sounds oh. like a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, it's great. You guys should come around and have a look.
Uh, look, it's great to see. Have you watched uh, Pete's early morning uh, new edition? On Sky. What, Check are, it out. what are you yeah. called? New edition? F- first, first edition. First, first edition. edition. New edition first sounds like a boy band. It, I was, think a it was a boy band. band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Bobby Brown. Bobby band, Brown, exactly. Yeah. Oh, we know how that ended out. <laughs> yeah. That didn't end up well, that. <laughs> oh, Bobby Brown. So have you watched him? Well, I'm here working, so, so, you've, never I don't so you've never supported him. No, I see you up on our screens, but I haven't sat and listened to right. him. Right, you've got it on your screen. Yeah. So yeah. there's a breaking news strap you can see. Exactly. What's up. Who's the girl there. you're on there with? The young Laura lady. Jays. She seems very good as well. Yeah, she's she's got a finger on the pulse. That's for where sure, did she yeah. come from? Well, she's she... been there for a long time. Right. She's done a lot of time in Canberra. Oh, uh, poor so, thing. Well, she she knows the ins and outs of politics, right, so she's right. very good in, in oh. that realm. That's for sure. Fantastic. Oh, good on you, Peter. Political questions you want to ask, Peter, Jackie. Um. Hmm. What political questions do I have? Oh, have you heard about ScoMo shitting himself at Inkadine McDonald's? Oh, well, McDonald's? that's not a political question, I don't know really. That story. You, you don't, don't know that story? I don't think he I do. violently shit himself in 1997 at Inkadine McDonald's after the Sharks lost the grand final. So down it is claimed. Right. But Obviously he's never it addressed it. <laughs> Was it a bad burger? I don't know. No. I'm, I'm saying right. he went there because he knows, like I also know, and a lot of men know. Where do you go for a clean toilet? Not Caltex. You go to McDonald's. You do. McDonald's always clean. Not always. Not always. I've been to some ropey ones. Oh, yeah. Have you? Yeah. You've been overseas though, as an overseas yeah. correspondent for a long time. No, but yeah, but generally McDonald's is is fairly good wherever you go. But I've just been to some ropey ones. Have you heard Brooklyn on the news here before on this show? I haven't actually. Oh, wow, thanks no. for your support. Well, yeah, I've only been on here five years. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thing, yeah. Good to I know Peter listens every morning. <laughs> Looks like your time's up, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to watch this shit thing he's put together, Lawyer X, the untold story, apparently it airs next week, one day on some station. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. It's Thanks, Monday Peter. and Tuesday, 8 o'clock, Sky News. Well done. I'm glad you uh, are over there doing what you do best. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks. You should always Peter. do it. Good to see you. Uh, All right. I love to Sylvia as well. Yeah. And, and Carl. Yeah. Yep. As soon Thank as you. Brooklyn does the wrong thing, and let me tell you, I'm watching him 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> he is. We'd love Sylvia to come and work here in a real newsroom and have a real journalist here for once. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Oh, I put up with this every day. Right, okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We just put up with each other. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Not really. Yeah. A, I love you it's, still. It's, it's equality or whatever Stockholm it is. Stockholm syndrome, I think. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, nice to see you. Pete Stefanovic on the air this morning here at Kiss. Kiss.